Welcome back and today we're talking about Sword Art Online Alicization War of the Underworld episode 20 so like always let's just jump into it this episode was absolutely just stunning now of course i came in thinking that we were going to get a pretty cool fight but that we were not going to get a conclusion to that fight again last episode we see that kirito is able to get alice with asuna so they can start going heading up to log out and that's the big plan right now because if they don't log out it's going to be 200 years no matter how fast they disconnect the little virtual machine 200 years are going to pass of course that's enough to drive anybody crazy because the human soul is not built to last for 200 years so that'll probably drive a lot of people crazy but again this episode we just got the huge huge fight between i believe he said his name was gabriel miller versus kirito i've been waiting for this fight because this is the big fight of this season and i'm glad we got it all in one episode i mean it was just absolutely stunning Everything that happened in this fight was just great. We got to see Kirito, of course, get a little bit of damage. I mean, at some point, he lost an arm. Then he lost his lower uh, part of his body. I'm talking about no legs, just his torso, just completely gone. And I did not think that was going to happen. I absolutely thought that Kirito was going to come in and literally one-shot the dude, right? Because that's what you expect, right? When the main character comes back after being in a coma for so long and just how powerful he came back with all that power, you would think he was just gonna one shot Gabriel, but no, it was more like an even fight. It was really, really awesome. And once Gabriel got that new form, like an angel almost, with all that darkness surrounding him, uh, I knew Kirito was going to be in trouble. I mean, I knew Kirito was going to have a handful, and I really did like the design that they gave Gabriel as that angel form of all that darkness. It definitely looked like the embodiment of evil almost. Yeah, he had like an angelic properties, but you can tell it was just complete darkness. That that dude was just out to, you know, steal Kirito's soul and all that crazy stuff that's, that he's into. Yeah, Gabriel is definitely a crazy, crazy person. But just that fight between Kirito and Gabriel was absolutely amazing. But of course, it's not going to be enough. I, I, I was kind of worried for Kirito after a second or two, okay? Because once he started losing limbs, I'm like, how is he going to win this? And of course, he did what I like to call the spirit bomb of SAO. He was able to use both Yu-Gi-Oh's sword and his sword to recall the recollection thing and gather power from all his friends. Now, I will say, I will say that it kind of felt like it was supposed to be a really heavy emotional moment. But to me, it didn't feel that way. Like at least I didn't kind of feel emotional inside or, or anything like that. I didn't connect. With that scene very well but it was it was still very well done we got to see all the characters and the state that they're in and sending their you know the whatever level power they had left to kirito in order to help him out when he needs all the help now i also want to touch on all the like the little easter eggs that we got right because we got to see even alfheim online come in with the wings that kirito had it, it was pretty it was pretty awesome okay I, I did love when they did that with the cape back from Ironcrad, and then we also got the wings and now i could be wrong about this but whenever kirito was doing that a big combo with both of his swords it looked like he was doing the same combo that he did whenever he unlocked the dual wield and he was fighting the one guy with the shield that that's what it seemed to me i could be wrong but if if, if indeed it was that combo it's yet again another great easter egg i mean they were really just bringing everything from every game that kirito has ever played and it was truly amazing now of course to me my biggest moment in this episode of course was whenever you know kirito after he got his big power up where i honestly again thought this was it it was over kirito is going to one shot this dude and he loses that arm the arm that had yugio's sword and i was like okay what's gonna happen now and we got that scene where yugio comes in and like you know he takes a hold of the sword and just stops you know gabriel's killing blow he literally saves kirito's life even after death okay we know jujio is gone it's like his spirit that's coming in and helping out uh kirito i mean truly awesome moment now that's the emotional scene that i definitely love i mean i kind of felt kind of you know teary-eyed almost it was really awesome it was it was a really awesome moment i mean jujio has to be in in this last two episodes i feel like jujio climbed to like the top of my list 
of SAO favorite characters because that dude, even when he's dead, he's not giving up, okay? Even when he's dead, he's still going out and helping Kirito because we know he helped him last episode and he helped him again. And I mean, not even helped. He saved Kirito's life in this episode. He saved the world, essentially, because if he did not grab a hold of that sword and stop Gabriel, Kirito would have died. And then, of course, Gabriel would have gone and, you know, killed Asuna and kidnapped Alice and then the bad guys would have won and then the last bit of the episode which I kind of got confused by because supposedly everybody was able to log off and I just don't see why Kirito was not included in the mass log off uh, at least to me it doesn't make sense because we see that you know players like Klein, Shinon, Leafa all of them were able to log off and I don't know why just it didn't applied to Kirito. It just didn't make any sense to me. And the fact that he had to spend 200 years by himself, right, in that world without Asuna, his sister, his friends, none of that, it, 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 I mean, it was very sad. You can see Kirito started to break down, and that's when we see a shadow pop in, and of course, it's Asuna. Now, I did not, again, see that coming, but once I saw that shadow, I mean, of course, who else is going to be? It's not going to be Alice. It, it, of course, it's going to be Asuna, and damn, she's a trooper, okay? It's definitely, I mean, she, she loves Kirito. What else are you going to expect? You know, she's going to spend 200 years in that world with Kirito. That's more than a lifetime together, uh, which, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to make a joke right now, but if they're going to spend 200 years together in the world, once they get out, I think it, it's going to be, what, like two, three, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but they already spent two lifetimes together. Are they going to still be in love when they get out or they're just going to be tired of each other and they're just going to go separate ways? I don't think that's going to happen, but I am really excited about the next episodes and the, and the remaining episodes because what's the big move now, right? All the big bads are bad. Are we about to just get like, like Kirito and Asuna catching up, telling stories and stuff like that? Because if that's the case, that's going to be a big bummer to end the season, right? Hopefully we get another villain or something because I really do not want to see the remaining, what, three, four, maybe... Four episodes max, I think, of Kirito and Asuna kind of just playing house together again. We got enough of it back in season one. We don't need it again. Just like the tentacles, keep them where they were at. In season two, with Alphine, keep them there. Don't bring them back. Don't bring tentacles back. Definitely don't bring back Kirito and freaking Asuna playing house again. I don't want to see that. I want to see more action, more badass Kirito. So let's let's stick with that, okay? Let's stick with that. But like always, let me not let me know what you thought of this episode. Go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode.